Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, today I have some really exciting news for Xbox and PC fans alike. Now, I know some of you may be wondering why haven't I uploaded lately, and to be honest with you guys, there just haven't been really interesting stories that I've wanted to cover. So, rather than just come here and just talk about some small stories, I decided to fall back until something interesting came across my timeline. Now, today, like I said, I have some really exciting news for Xbox fans. Now, Jason Ronald who is the lead hardware, um, I should say, architect for the Xbox Series consoles. Now, he's responsible for the Xbox Series X and S consoles. Now, he just retweeted that we are very excited to provide Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2 to the Xbox developers. FSR 2 can be found in the most recent GDX for the Series consoles, building a cross-platform between the Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, and Windows desktop. Now, if you follow this channel a few months back I did talk about FSR 2.0 coming to the Xbox Series console. Now today it is officially available for developers to use. Now developers are getting this into their games in about two days time so I do expect some of the older titles to get patches as well as some of the newer titles that will be coming out in the fall to have FSR 2.0 implemented. Now since the launch of FSR 2.0 we do have a couple of games where we can see the differences that FSR 2.0 brings over the native resolution. Now, first of all, you're gonna get a much higher frame rate. Now, if you choose the highest preset on FSR 2.0, it looks exactly the same as native resolution and sometimes even better than the native image quality. Now, there are some differences between DLSS and FSR 2.0. FSR 2.0 is not using machine learning, so to speak. It is using an algorithm that was trained on machine learning, so it's trained to upscale certain images, but it's not actually actually using machine learning. Now DLSS, it is a better technology and the output that you get from DLSS is superior to FSR 2.0. Now with that said, you are hard pressed to see the difference between the highest preset of FSR and DLSS. You'd really have to be like Digital Foundry where you slow down the image, where you zoom in to really see the differences. In actual gameplay, I think most gamers are not going to notice the difference between FSR 2.0 and DLSS. Now FSR 2.0 renders at a lower resolution and outputs at a native selected resolution. So if you choose to output at 1440p, it may take a 1080p image and output it at 1440p. If you're going to output at 4K, it'll take a 1440p or higher image and output it at 4K. And like I've said, it is very hard to see the difference between that output render and the native render that you get from the same GPU. Now there's some instances where you get better aliasing and the output from a DLSS or FSR implementation looks better than the native render. Now this brings me to Forza Motorsport 8. Now recently it was caught up in some controversy. Microsoft decided to show the PC footage instead of the console running on the Series X. Now they did clear this up later stating that this was running on a PC with Xbox Series X settings. Now Digital Foundry also did a breakdown of the video and they found that certain parts of the image were not being rendered in a full 4K resolution and with ray tracing they just don't see how this game can ship at 4K with 60 FPS. Now this is where FSR 2.0 comes into play. Now I think it was by design that they had certain parts of the image not being outputted at the full resolution. They probably wanted to give us a baseline of what to expect when the game ships because they knew that they were going to implement FSR 2.0. Now the guys over at Turn 10 are very talented and with this now being available for developers, I just don't see how they can't use this on the Series X console. In fact, I think it's going to be used on PC as well because you get a much higher frame rate with resolution and image quality that looks on par with the native rendering. Now, I do believe that this is coming for Forza Motorsport 8. I'm going to go on a limb and say it's going to definitely be implemented into the game. Now, this has not been confirmed by uh, Turn 10 or any other outlet. I'm just going on a hunch here and I just do believe that they will implement this into this game because it will benefit Forza Motorsport 8 tremendously. This game has ray tracing, it has a host of features, it looks 
fantastic. And with FSR in this game, I do believe that we may even have a mode that is capable of doing 120 FPS at 1440p. Now, once again, this is not confirmed by Turn 10. I'm just giving you guys my thoughts on the issue and what I think will happen with the game. Now, this game doesn't launch until the early part of 2023, so there's lots of time for Turn 10 to implement FSR 2.0 and make tweaks to the game. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think about this. Are you excited that FSR 2.0 is now available to all Xbox developers? Do you expect some games to get patched for it? And what games do you think would benefit the most from having FSR 2.0? Let me know in the comment section down below. And like I usually say, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.